Hello all you wonderful people out there. My name is Tinokin and if you're familiar with my channel you may be wondering why I'm looking a bit different and the reason for that is that this is a new game it's called Vintage Story and even though some parts of it look a bit like Minecraft it is in fact quite different. It is a very tough survival game and I want to try playing it with you because I've really been wanting to do some survival stuff on this channel as well. So let's get going because, yeah, time is passing and the first night is approaching. So first we need to start out by collecting some items that help us craft our first tools. So I have some flint, but I do need another piece. And then I also need some sticks so that I can craft a knife. Let's punch a tree to get some sticks. Very good, we got a seed as well. I don't want that. I'm just going to plant it here. And there is my second piece of flint. So here we have a big horn sheep. They can get aggressive if you get too close to them. So I'm going to go around them. And there looks to be a deep cave down there. That is something for later in the game. So now that I have two flint, I can show you how uh, some of the crafting mechanics in this game work because they are very different from Minecraft. For example, to create knives out of this flint, I need to put it down on the floor, choose the template that I want to use, and then this process is called napping, where I just punch away pieces of the stone that do not belong to the knife blade. And this way I can create two of them out of one stone. And now I just need to need to combine those with the sticks. And I have my first tool and also my first weapon. So you can see that I don't have very much space in my inventory yet. But I do have on my hotbar these four slots that I can put some bags in. And with those I can create additional inventory slots. So one of the most important early game resources to get are those Cooper's Reeds because I can make some bags from them. If I want to, I can also harvest the roots of those for some uh, early game food that I can cook, the cattail root. However, those do not regrow, so this is a finite resource. But for, for the early game, it usually makes sense to take some. It looks like there is more reeds over there, so I don't think we need to be too worried about um, not having enough uh, reeds left. <laughs> in fact, uh, starvation is a much bigger danger in the early game. And I have to admit, I have played this game before for a few hours uh, at most, um, just to try it out and to get familiar with the mechanics so that I am not completely unprepared in this video. But there are a, few, a lot of things that I uh, haven't figured out yet, so we have a lot that we can discover together. There are some cranberry bushes here and I think I'm going to take them with me. The nice thing about those is that I can just replant them anywhere I want and then eventually they'll have new berries. So they are a very easy source of food. There is an old structure here. You can find these ruins um, in different parts of the map. and. The nice thing about them is that this cobblestone is something that we can take with us and use for building because um, apart from that in the beginning it is uh, not so easy to get um, building materials if you don't want to build your house out of dirt. We do seem to have quite a big lake here and I really like that. I would really like to live close to the lake because um, I have noticed that we are quite good at swimming. Look at this. Um, unlike most of the other animals, which means that we can easily outmaneuver them in the water and I think this is going to help us tremendously if we get attacked. So I just found this cute little island and I actually really like that and I think it could be perfect to have our base on here. However, right now it is still in the middle of the day and I want to grab some more resources before we settle down anywhere. But I think I'm going to, yeah, take note of this and we are going to return here once night falls. We also have a really nice view of that uh, really cool mountain formation back there. Before we continue, let's make ourselves some baskets. 
from the reads that we have collected. So now we have six additional inventory slots and I need to get 20 more reads so I can make the last two baskets as well. And then we are prepared to gather some stuff. Oh, there's some clay here. Oh, that is really useful. Um, I've been hoping to find some clay because it's really important to get some. We can create some cooking tools from it and that is going to help us a lot uh, to prevent ourselves from starving. Actually, I do think I'm going to make myself a shovel that can be done by napping too. And that's going to make the whole process a bit easier. And while we're at it, let's make an axe as well, because we need to gather some firewood for the night. It's getting quite dark, so now I'm swimming and trying to get back to my little island. Uh, so here we are. Let's start by making a fire. And I'm, <laughs> I'm noticing that I don't have any more sticks with me. Um, yeah, those sticks are always a real issue in this game. Let's try to get one from the shrubbery on here. And then I can... Did I just pick one up? Yes, two in fact. Yeah, because I think I need two to make a fire starter. Otherwise, that's not going to work. So put some firewood on there. And then I can use the fire starter. And this could take a while or it could go quickly. It's uh, There's always a little bit of luck involved. Ooh, finally. Yeah, that took quite a while. It looks like I'm not the best at uh, starting fires yet. And I, or I really do need to eat something. I did find some more berries. And mostly I think I want to use the cattail roots and uh, cook those up. Um, there's also some trees on here. So I think uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to clear this island a little bit. Nighttime is always a great time to do some clay working and the sooner we can get our first cooking pot the better. So let's get going. So this works a little bit similar to napping. We do have our clay material and we can add or remove voxels. So the, we created the base layer by removing some stuff and now we have to add some things for the next layer. This is a bit tedious. Luckily there are some uh, tools that help us do this a little bit faster, especially if all layers look the same. And the last layer is a little bit different, so I need to do this by one by hand again. And there is our first cooking pot. Um, I'm going to do one more and then two bowls, which we also need for eating. And then we can fit all four of those things into one pit kiln and start firing it. I just hope that I have enough sticks for that, otherwise it will need to wait until the morning. There are some noises approaching, and now I'm scared a little bit. My fire has gone out. There is a guy somewhere. Where is it? Oh, down there. Oh, I, I don't even have a spear yet. Ouch! Get away, you nasty thing. Actually, I want to kill him now because... Did I kill him? Where is he? I don't know. Oh no. Uh, oh no, I am taking damage because I'm hungry. Uh, that's perfect, of course. I think he's still, still alive. Yeah, there he is. He can throw some rocks at us, so let's try and... I don't want to die from this thing now. What did I hit him with? Did I hit him with my shovel? Is this the same guy as earlier? He does have a lot of health. If so. Why are you not dying? Finally. Let's see if he's got something with him. No, he doesn't. Ooh, we lost a lot of health there. Um, let's have a look. Current rift activity medium, so it's not too bad, but... I am worried that more of those guys are going to show up. Because now my health is uh, a bit low. I definitely need to eat a bit more though. Oh, there's another guy. I'm running out of weapons. Uh, 
This is not good. I definitely need to get back to napping once I have... Is he running off? Uh, let's make a spear. High time to make a spear that also has greater reach than the axe, so that is very helpful. Uh, I'm worried that that guy is going to come back, though. Yeah, there he is. Ah. Uh. Come on! Ah, oh, now my axe broke, and I'm almost dead. No, 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 no! I don't want to die! <laughs> Come on! I killed him, wow. Just in time. But I am really close to dying. Where did my spearhead go? Okay, I definitely need this. And then I need to eat some more and then just hope that my heart regenerates because I don't have any healing yet. Oh wow, this is really stressful for our first night. I just wanted to make some nice clay pots. <laughs> I can hear... Oh, there is more of those guys coming over. Oh, why is there so many... No! Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's respawn. Okay, so... uh <laughs> we seem to be glowing, which is uh, good. And now we just need to find our place again. And yeah, hope that we can get our stuff before the drifters swarm all over there. And then maybe we can uh, manage to kill them off before they kill us again. Now let's just hope that we don't run into a wolf or something nasty like that. Oh, I, oh. I hear some of those guys again. I hope they're not after me now. Are they after me? Oh, we are over there. Oh, yeah, I think we are exactly where those guys were co coming from. Oh, yes. There's probably one right behind me. Uh, how did I manage to walk right into that? Let's get back to the island. And the sun is coming up. Oh, I'm glad. Because I don't think those guys will be spawning anymore. When the sun is there. Ooh, this is okay, this is a dead one. <laughs> oh, you guys, you scared me. Am I going to keep you here as a statue? Ah, oh, he didn't even drop anything. Okay, so since we were so rudely interrupted while clay forming this night, uh, I didn't even manage to finish all the things that I wanted to do. So let me just make those two balls now real quick and then we can put them in the ground and they can uh, start cooking <laughs> while we go exploring again during the day. Okay, so to fire these things, let's place them, place them in a hole. Then we need to add some grass, then some sticks, and I hope those are enough. And finally some firewood. And now I can use a torch to light this on fire. And because I'm not sure if it's going to start raining during the day, I'm just going to make a quick roof over that with dirt so that the fire doesn't go out. But at the moment we don't have anything that we could cook, even if we had our cooking pot, so uh, it's time to go out and find some things. I found some flax, that is very good. Uh, we are even getting some uh, fibers from that already. Oh, turnips. Oh, these are already done. Very nice. Uh, but I'm going to take all of them with me. I just want the seeds mostly so that I can start growing my own things. Oh no! Ah! I'm running, I'm run- Oh, that guy is fast. Let's get in the water. Uh, I wanted to say that's 
get in the water, but uh, too late. Second death already. Uh, and had, I had so many nice things in my inventory. Let's just <laughs> hope that we can get all of those again. The wolf is still there. <laughs> He's probably guarding my stuff. Well, that's going to be fun. And another wolf. And oh, two of them. Well, that's not fair. Are they going to wait for me when I respawn now? Am I going to go into a death loop? <laughs> there they are. Okay. Let's just uh, take a round trip. And hope that they don't bother me. Like, wh what is that? Like, I mean, I think that's called spawn camping and is generally frowned upon. Oh, there's there's a rift directly there, but... Oh, no. <laughs> I fell into oh, that could have been really bad. Wow, things are really not going too well for me right now. What's going on there? I thought I got so lucky with the, uh, with the clay early on. And then I died three times already i think i want to make myself at least a spear before i go back there where the wolf is yeah as you can see that wolf was able to kill us much faster than the drifters were uh, i think it was basically just two two bites that it took out of me and i was gone and yeah those wolves are really really scary um the drifters because there were so many of them and i didn't have proper weapons prepared also managed to get me but yeah I'd, I'd rather have a have an encounter with a drifter to be honest than with a wolf now i also made the mistake of not exactly noting down the coordinates where i died maybe i need to look uh, have a look at my recording uh, and see where i died otherwise i'm not going to find that stuff again Well, everyone, so at this point, of course, the inevitable happened. I knew it before I did it. I thought to myself, if you now turn off the recording just to check out where that wolf killed you, just make sure that you start the recording again before you continue playing. And I didn't. I know. So yeah, some time has passed. I managed to get my stuff back and I started building our house, but there's not a lot yet. One thing that I managed to do was to create my first cooking pot and cook myself a meal. And now I'm off to gather some more resources. I need to get some wood as well. And here is a forest, but forests always have wolves in them. Was that a wolf that I just saw? I mean, if I was a wolf, I would maybe attack those sheep first. Although, uh, to be fair, they probably hit harder than I do. <laughs> I am probably the easier prey. Is that dark stuff? Oh, wow, that is Terra Preta. <gasps> that is so exciting. Okay, Terra Preta is the, the best soil that you can get in this game for growing veggies. So I need to take all of that with me. Do I have space? Let me... Remove that tree so that we can see it properly. Oh wow, that's going to be great for our vegetable garden. Um, sheep, could you maybe not get so close to me because I don't want you to aggro on me and I mean it's really your own fault if you... I mean you... you seem chill. Are you now all... Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go up there. That's good. How about that? A little further up? Go take your kids as well. How about that? Maybe I just need to come back at a different time and get that stuff. <laughs> I really don't want to get punched in the face by a ram right now. That is not what I want to do. Um. It's not much of that stuff, is it? Let's see how many blocks we get. Uh, 
I'm being really reckless right now. Hi. Uh, ex uh, excuse me. May I? Yeah. Uh, and and I'm gone. Bye bye. Okay, I have 18. Well, that's that's a start for a vegetable garden. So here's the nice porridge that I made. I can just take it out um, with a bowl and mmm, yum. And if I'm not hungry enough to eat all of this, I will leave some left over. But in this case, it's 2%. So yeah, I ate almost all of it. Um, well, I'm not sure if it makes sense to keep that, but yeah, no, we can't afford to let anything go to waste in this game. It's getting night time, so it's time to cook some dinner. I was able to kill a boar this morning, and that is going to enable us to make some very nice stuff. Maybe something with turnips in it and some cranberries or blackcurrants. I think the cranberries, yeah, they stay fresh longer, so let's use those currants. So let's make three portions of red meat stew with boiled turnip and black currants. Sounds nice, huh? And while that is cooking, I'm going to continue working on the island and our future home. We are making some progress. So we have the porch here and I'm going to build a fence around it with maybe a gate here, at least for now, as long as everything else isn't fenced off. Then we have the inner part of the house here. I'm making the floor out of mud bricks because I think they are a nice contrast, both in like texture and color to the cobblestone that we have in the wall. And I didn't want everything to look the same. And yeah, back here, I mean, this is still... Uh, <laughs> the the dirt wall here this is still like an in an in-between state until i have more materials and of course i need to build up the terrain back here so that we have a nice slope um that's going to be very nice and down here is going to be our cellar and yeah we have the ability to store uh things in the cellar and they will perish less quickly um so yeah that's a really important part yeah slowly but surely uh we are making some some progress here so I finished the foundations of the house, but now I don't have a roof over my head. And there are some things that I still need to figure out. For example, how I'm going to do the kitchen nook and what I'm going to make the walls out of. Because I would love for the cobblestone to just be the foundation part and then to maybe have some brighter block. But I don't really know what's available to me right now. I don't think there's much. Maybe I just needed to build build it provisionally out of something else. I had thought about the sand, the sandstone sand. It is a lighter color, but I don't know if it's silly to build my walls out of sand. Maybe it is. It probably is. But I do think that is something that I will leave for the next episode. So I think all in all, we've had a good start. Uh, I mean, I died three times. But other than that, I think things went very well. And I think we have a really nice start of a base here. But we do need to be prepared. There is a temporal storm coming. There's always a temporal storm coming, but I think it should be in uh, seven or eight days now. So not very far away. And we need to work on getting a regular source of food. And of course, <laughs> we need to build ourselves a roof. And I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. <laughs> I would really love to know if you like this game, if you like this sort of content uh, on my channel. Please leave a comment and tell me your opinion. But anyway, I hope I'll see you soon in the next episode. Bye-bye.